As you can see, I have Lady uh, Linda Kaufman, and she's here at the Cottonwood Fair uh, 2012, and she has, uh, she belongs to the Weavers Club, and she actually weaves different uh, clothing or different articles for her club. Linda, uh, you've been around, you said, for how many years doing this at the Weavers Club? Well, I've been weaving for uh, about 25 years, but the club has been around uh, closer to 40 in, in the Verde Valley. 20. So you've been doing it uh, most of your life. Well, <laughs> that's very flattering, but uh, a lot of my life, yes. Well, did, you know, I don't know if this generation actually does that, you know, the younger generation. I know your mother probably did, and that's where maybe you, where you picked it up. No, actually, I, I saw someone do it. I was probably, I think I was about 30 years old. and. Oh. I, was in Santa Fe in a gallery and there was a hand weaver there and I watched her do it and decided that that was something I could do and that I would enjoy and mm. and I told my husband I said well you need to buy me a loom he was with me and he said I'll buy you a book <laughs> so so this is this is the loom right here I mean this is this is the math thing you have one that's kind of like that wheel. that's a spinning oh, that's wheel. a spinning wheel that's a spinning okay wheel. Then, but do you use something like that well, I use a spinning wheel, and I have looms. It's more like uh, the loom that's behind you. You have to check that out. What I have. Wow. Right. But, okay. So the, you said off off camera you had about forty members, which is pretty good size, and you have a pretty good group, and that mm -hmm. do some positive things in the community. Well, we uh, mentor new weavers. Uh, we have study groups. We uh, sponsor uh, a conference, uh, the Intermountain Weavers Conference, that's held in Durango, Colorado, every other year. Oh wow. And our members support that. We attend as members. We work on the, the sponsoring committees to make sure the, mm. the conference is a success and things like that. And we, and that's how we. Uh, part of our charter is to is to spread information about weaving and to tell people about hand weaving and hand spinning and dyeing and and those fiber crafts. And that's um, through uh, through our um, exhibitions and through our. Uh, sponsoring and participating in wow. uh, conferences. That keeps you pretty going, pretty good, then, huh? Pardon me. Keeps you pretty busy, then. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, we, there's something fun. We, we, there, we always have something going on. We you meet, enjoy it. We do, and we meet ten months a year. Once a month, we get together to uh, show what we've done, to ask each other questions. We usually have a program. Uh, someone come in to talk about some aspect of fiber art. So it's very informative, very educational. Wow, that's great. One of those articles, uh, the item behind you is that you actually done yourself, and would you could you kind of describe that and look at it? And uh, that's pretty nice. It's this is a this is a scarf I wove. The fiber is bamboo. Bamboo. And two colors. Yes, they make. It's like they make rayon. Rayon is made from wood pulp, and they take the oh my bamboo gosh. wood. Isn't that pulp, interesting? And they make fiber from it, and it's a wonderful lustrous fiber. It it takes dye beautifully. It, um, you mean it's actual best bamboo? Soft silk, actual bamboo. Well, that is really interesting. Who would ever, who would ever know that? <laughs> I don't know that. That's and what you learn from, from talking to people. Tree. That from is really, really tree. nice. They make pulp from it, mm -hmm. and then they make fiber, similar to the way they make rayon. Oh, well, that's which something. Is a wood pulp product. So that's something. That's something you you'll keep yourself. That's, that's really a really nice yes. article. Yes, it is. I, I will mean, keep it. It's myself. quite a showpiece. Thank you. I mean, it's really, really nice. I would <laughs> never have guessed. And so, how, how long does something like that take you to make? Oh. Actually, not very long, uh, maybe four or five days from beginning to end. Wow. Dressing the loom is, is the complicated part, but once it's gone, actually weaving it off, you know, putting the weft through is uh, not that hard. Well, that looks, that looks like a pretty close weave. I mean, it is. It's very fine yarn, which took a, is a little, you have to get used to that because it's a little more temperamental than, than heavier yarns. It has a tendency to break more often if it's fine. And What's amazing like is you actually have designs in it different colors. And, and, and isn't that extremely hard or difficult to learn to do that? Well, the design repeats. So once you have the one, it's just a matter of of repetition. And it's this is a mix of twills. You can take, there are many different different kinds of weaves and techniques of weaving and you can mix them. This is just a little mix of the of twill weaves that uh, to make up the design. That's really interesting. So do you, I, I'm assuming you have must have literally 50 or 100 pieces yourself or given out hundreds of pieces? Well, or? well yeah, over the years I have. I mostly, I do mostly give them away. I have actually not that many still in my possession really? of what I've done. Hmm. I do them for gifts and, you know, weddings and babies. And what a nice Christmas gift that your thing. relatives get. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
you. A handwoven something usually. Yeah, I can imagine. You know, that's that's something special, and then you'll treasure all your life from your mother. You know. Well, I hope so. So you guys are located here in Cottonwood. Do you live here in Cottonwood no, also? I I live in Sedona. And, Where do you really? And our guild, which cover has members from all over the Verde Valley, uh, we meet currently in Sedona. Oh, okay. Well, that's great. At St. Andrew's Episcopal Church. So you came all the way down here just to be part of this. Just to, to, just for the fair. Yeah. And, uh, we have we have many members though that live in Cottonwood and Cornville and, and this area. This I'm going to get you down. get you to uh, actually talk about that other item. That's very nice too, and that's from the president. What's her name? Her name is Jane Hansen, and she's our current president. And this is um, woven silk. It's a it's a weave called an undulating twill, and uh, she wove the yardage and then cut it and sewed it to make a top. That's just really a beautiful item too. And it's, it's, it, it looks like a, it would be an extremely expensive item in a store. It would be because, <laughs> it's, because it's all silk and it's hand done and hand sewn. Hmm. And she also then took uh, took the dark color and just wove the scarf that went with it so that it's coordinated. Just before I close here, how many, how many other uh, Members or, or, or board members or people you have involved. Do you want to mention some of them? Um, well, yeah, our current slate of officers, Jane Hansen. I'm a past president, but Jane Hansen is our current president. Um, Isabel Simmer is our treasurer. Mm -hmm. Marilyn Bennett, our secretary, and I'm vice president this. Oh, you just took out one of the duties, huh? Yes. Oh, that's great. I'm vice president this year. So um, uh, that's our slate of officers, and we go through, we rotate through the officers uh, pretty frequently. We have 40 members, so, okay. and over the 35 years of the guild, everyone's held the offices more than once oh, great. as we go through. Well, then I'm going to close for now, and I'm going to give you the opportunity to, uh, if you want to get an address, a phone number, or email address, or something, you have the people are interested in getting okay. a hold of you. Well, we are the uh, Verde, Bar Verde Valley Guild of Weavers and Spinners. We meet at St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in Sedona the third Thursday of the month, except for June and July. And if anyone would like any more information, they can call 928-282-5134. Well, thank you very much, sir, and have a great fair. Thank you very much.